All right, everybody, and welcome to Little Red Rooster TV. It's uh, December the 27th, and this is my favorite time of the year in between Christmas and New Year's where we can reflect on last year and think of the activities and things that have happened and then uh, plan for the next year and set our uh, New Year's resolutions and see if we can keep to them. And I'll tell you, this next year I've got quite a number of them. I want to get uh, lose some weight, first of all, and get back into uh, playing a little bit more regularly and hanging out with some of the people that come out and see the band. And we are getting, we've got almost 500 people on the mailing list right now. And when we do play, uh, a lot of you guys show up and we appreciate that and thank you for doing it. We'd also like to remind you to subscribe to the um, uh, YouTube channel if you, if you will, because that keeps us uh, on point of what's coming up. And like this week, uh, uh, this coming Tuesday, we're gonna be playing at the VFW Hall in Antelope for New Year's Eve. And it's gonna be a great venue. They're charging only $20 a person. There'll be hors d'oeuvres and uh, a lot of fun. It's gonna be a really fun evening. That place has got good sound, a beautiful stage, and the people are very, very nice. It also has good parking and it's safe. So uh, we like it. Anyway, um, uh, I wanted to give the quote of the week this week, which is from Jimmy Cagney. He's one of my favorite guys of all time. He's a tough guy that grew up in downtown New York City, uh, in the Bowery, actually, they called it, and uh, was just a great guy. And his quote is, learn your lines, find your mark, look them in the eye, and tell them the truth. And, you know, I'm always saying that, you know, if people would just tell people what's on their mind and communicate, a lot of the time you could... Uh, you know, a lot of things would be solved, wouldn't it? You know, communication is everything. So, um, you know, we'd love to see you come on out. And this is, oh, I wanted to talk about two things. Um, also, last week we put out our uh, song, Coney Island Blues. I've never told anyone this before. Maybe I have. If I have, I didn't remember. But um, I grew up in New York City I, I, only for my first five years. But my grandfather uh, was, worked for a manufacturing company there, Remington Arms, and um, they, my father, who was from Italy, and my mom, uh, under my grandfather's supervision, started a little business there, and it was called Betty Ruth Novelties, and what they did was sold Cupid dolls as prizes uh, for the vendors down at Coney Island. And um, I remember Coney Island very vividly and was lucky enough to find on uh, the web photographs and actually even some film clips that my friend Shelley Somerset, who is a wonderful video producer and uh, voiceover lady, uh, put together for us of old photographs of uh, Coney Island and uh, goes along with the song and the words of the song are I think pretty cool and the band is actually playing on this song in other words uh, no studio musicians not me playing all the parts but it's actually John Seymour on the bass Skip Cron on the drums Clark Calvert on the saxophone and myself on the guitars and keys and and the voice and uh, it's a lot of fun also I'm gonna be uh, posting along with this uh, with this video and this is actually show number 16 right here. Along with this video, I'm going to be posting um, uh, the song Cry to Me, which is uh, another song that uh, written by myself. And on this particular incarnation of the song, it is me playing all the parts and singing all the harmonies. It's an interesting thing that I do. I was uh, talking a little while ago about Little Red Rooster Records, what I do there. Uh, you know, it's twofold. I love playing in the band. And also, I love to be able to... Um, grow as a musician and play the bass and play the guitar and play the drums and and that type of thing and so cry to me is a good example of that and that will be video um, number 17 so little red rooster TV is moving ahead and uh, we want to try to get a thousand hits between now and Christmas or actually I'm sorry between now and New Year's and uh, we're very very close so um, anyway this is Gene Thorpe little red rooster TV Signing out. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.